Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I want to show you how to set up a private TFO group for doing PvE or PvP matches. So to set up a private group, it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is go to the PvE Task Force Operations window. This is the same window that you would use if you were looking to queue up for any of the queues in the game. And then, then you're going to go to the private tab at the top of this window. Now, if you're just looking to do a queue by yourself, you'll see that there are many that you can immediately start right away just by yourself. Many of these can be done solo if you are really looking for a challenge. There's no increased rewards for doing a queue by yourself, but uh, if you're just looking to challenge yourself, then you, know, you could just go in and solo something. Now, the first thing to do when you're going into this window, though, is to figure out, you know, what map are you trying to do? Uh, let's say I'm trying to do an infected, the conduit or infected space. Now, you're probably not going to want to do it on normal difficulty. Um, and you're probably going to want to do it on like advanced or elite if you're trying to solo it just to give yourself a bigger challenge. So if I was wanting to solo an infected elite, I would change the difficulty to elite and that would be, that'd be that. I would just go in and hit the start button and I would go into the map, the map by myself. Now, if I wanted to invite other players, I have a few different ways to go about this. If I'm in the channels doing a, looking for X amount of players to join me for a queue, like you would see in the DPS channels, then you know, I would put out that call and then people would put X's in chat and I would right click on them and then invite them to the task force operation. Now, alternatively, I, if they're on my friends list, I can just go to my friends list, right click on them and invite them into the map. And I can also just type in their name in this little text box at the bottom left of the operations window here. If I want to just do it that way. So. All you have to do is invite them in and you'll be able to, to start whatever map you're trying to do. Now, some of these maps, as you'll see here, cannot be started without having a team of a certain amount. So many of these will have a requirement that there's a full team of five players in there. And you're going to need a full team of five players to, to actually do them. Now, there are also some of these queues that have multiple teams. And the way you would set those up is you would need to divide the amount of players you have and put them on the, the team that you want them to be on. So for Drenur Beach Assault here, you see that it's got two teams of five players. And if I want to set one of the other players in this to be on a different team, you will see over at the left side, there's a drop down for team after each player, and I can select what team that they're going to be on. So this will allow you to specifically choose who is going to be on what team when you're doing your private TFO. Now, this works very similar for PvP. If you're looking to do a PvP match, you would invite them in the same way. And by default, you know, you're both on the same team when you first invite someone to a TFO group. And obviously you can't do a PVP if all the players are on the same team. So you need to change some of the players to, to the other team. And as soon as you do that, you can start up the PVP match. And you'll also be able to customize how many kills are going to be possible in that match for it to be completed. You can choose any value between five to a hundred, but you need at least 15 kills in order to get rewards from the match so for for you those of you that have wondered how to set up a private pvp all you have to do is invite to a tfo group just like you would for any normal pve queue and just change the the teams around on the players to to make sure that people are on different teams so hopefully that's that's pretty self-explanatory now the reasons that you would go through and do a private PVE are, well, there's, there's a few different reasons. Private PVE queues or TFOs do not have a, a punishment if you leave the map before completing them. 
So if you are looking to do an endeavor by yourself, like if I log in and I see that I need to go kill like 30 Tholians, I could just go into a vault and snared by myself, go in, kill the 30 Tholians, complete the endeavor and leave the map. I don't actually have to complete the map. If I have something to do X amount of damage on the ground, I'll just hit Operation Wolf. I'll go into Operation Wolf, get my damage done. As soon as I get the endeavor completed, I'm out of the map. I don't actually complete it. And there's no cooldown. There's no punishment for me doing that. So I'm going to invite that other account back in. And the next thing I want to show you is me going into an infected elite. So when you first go through, remember, you need to select the map that you're looking to do and then select the difficulty you want to do it on. Okay. Now this, this icon here will not always automatically update, but the name should change. And you'll see that the icon at the bottom right of the screen will change. But you notice if I change this to normal, it still shows the elite icon until I hover back over it. So just know it, it, there don't, don't look at this to see what rank or skill level it's at all the time difficulty. Uh, this thing doesn't automatically update. So I can just start this up then and sometimes it'll instantly load and sometimes it'll take, you know, half an hour to load the map, what it feels like. Now, once I'm actually in here, you know, that this is your normal infected elite. And I don't actually have to complete the map. So if something goes wrong, if I'm doing a DPS chasing run, something goes wrong, someone dies and we need to just abort the run. We can just leave the map and we have no cooldown and no lever penalty or anything like that. Like you would have in a normal queue. Now, if I'm the TFO leader and I'm calling for a reform and I need to help people get out of the map, I can just right click on them and kick them from the task force operation that will immediately remove them from the map. And when I leave the map here, you will see that I have no cooldown on infected and I could jump right back into it if I wanted. So this is really handy to do for like the DPS chasing runs. Now you're also going to see here that there's a variety of queues that require five players or more. I think crystalline requires seven players. Now what I'm going to show you is something we call ghosting. So there's a workaround for these queues that require five players. So let's say I want to do a battle of Corfez. I have another account here that is going to be the TFO leader. And I'm going to go to alternate characters on my main account. So you would have a, a buddy do this. They would go through and log into some characters that they're not actually doing the, the queue with. So I'm going to go to new characters here. I'm going to slowly invite them in. So I'm going to invite this character. I'm going to accept that invite. I'm going to go to another character. Uh, we call this process ghosting. Basically, I'm I'm logging into all these characters and you see that even though I've changed characters that that last one is still in the list and uh, make sure you're not on hide because people cannot see you when you are hidden and you can't be invited to a TFO group while you're hidden. So I'm going to get myself a full team and you're going to see that four of the characters are um, all from one account. And by doing this, it is tricking the game into thinking that I have a full team and it will allow me to start the TFO, even though I'm basically the only person in there. So on each of these characters, I have accepted the invite. Now I'm going to, the last character that I'm going to be inviting through this ghosting process is the character that I actually want to play on. 
So I'm going to load into my current main DPS character. And I am going to invite it. Once I've accepted this, you see that I can now start up most of these maps that had that limitation where they required five people. There's still a couple that don't work, and that's because some of these characters that I had loaded, or loaded into are not of the correct faction. Some of these queues do have, you know, specific uh, requirements. Um, you'll notice, like, Battle of the Binary Stars, it's not letting me start because my ship class does not meet the requirement on this character. Um, so when you're doing this ghosting process, make sure that the ships you have on the characters would all be able to go into the queue. Uh, the reason the Grand Nagus there cannot go into some of these maps is because it's in a Sulaban cell ship, which is a, a freighter, which has basically no weapons on it or anything like that. Um, but you see, I can go and start a Battle of Corfez. So I'll hit this. And you'll see that it sometimes takes a while, but it is going to let me into the map. And normally this would not have let me into the map because it requires five people. But via this ghosting process, I've tricked the game into thinking that I actually have a full team, even though realistically there's only two actual players going into this map. My main DPS character and then my alternate account. So you see then that there's, this is three ghost, three, three characters that are not actually going to load into the map. And that is me getting into Corfez and I, I can, I can transfer the, uh, TFO leader over to my DPS character, and I can now go through and kick that from the TFO group. I could also go through and kick the other characters. It doesn't really matter though. Uh, they don't get a cooldown or any rewards if they never enter the map. So if they just remain in this ghost state, then they're just going to stay there. But you see that I, I can go through, I'm, I'm the only person in this map. Um, with the ghosts, sometimes you'll see that flashing there, so I am going to kick them. And I am now the only person in this Battle of Corfez. So that is how you would do that if you were looking to do a specific queue that does not normally let you in unless you have a full team. And that is how you set up a, you know, a TFO group or a PvP private match in general. So, you know, hopefully this video has been informative for you guys um you know i imagine most of you understand how to set up a private tfo or pvp match but you probably didn't know about that ghosting technique to to go in and uh run most of these maps without having a full team so hopefully there was something in here that most of you have been able to learn but that is going to be it for this video. Once again, thank you to all channel members for the continued support. There are more STO videos coming out later this week. I'm not sure on the topics yet, but, um, you know, it'll be like this video. I'll, uh, I'll figure them out an hour before release and, you know, get them recorded 30 minutes before I set them to go on YouTube. So fun times, uh, but that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.